What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Dev Talks, where we talk about everything engineering and technology-wise. With your host Travian. This video, we have some news about Apple. Apple made a really big acquisition. I think it can be potentially big, depending on what they do with this competitor that they just bought. Adobe might hurt from it, and Apple basically acquired Pixelmator. So Pixelmator is like an editing software. Does some of the, a lot of familiar stuff that Adobe does. I believe, and I'm really curious on how Apple is going to incorporate this new acquisition into their apps and everything else. So Apple might hurt Adobe a lot. I use Adobe for some editing software and stuff. So if Apple was able to make certain stuff better, who knows? We'll see. But without further ado, let's just dive into it and figure out all the details. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends and family. It helps so much on the channel we got the two over 200 subscribers i really appreciate it and that's in less than a year so thank you so much once again and let's just dive into this last november last 1 pixelmator announced that it has been acquired by apple looking at social media it seems a lot of folks were excited about this purchase going as far as to say that this deal is going to create a legitimate competitor to adobe for example in this article from petapixel the author states that quote if Apple were to choose to put resources into Pixelmator and Photometer, both could challenge Adobe's market dominance that it has enjoyed for the better part of a decade. So in this video, I thought it would be useful to analyze the pros and cons of this acquisition and whether there is a good probability that this will create a legitimate competitor to Adobe's Lightroom or Photoshop. So let's get right into it. First question is, why do I think Apple acquired Pixelmator? In my view, Apple acquired Pixelmator for the purpose of acquiring talent and technology that can be used to improve the editing capability of its Photos app. To understand the problem of Photos, let's edit a raw photo with Photos. I'll brighten the shadows. As you can see, a decent result, retaining nice contrast and bringing out detail in the image. Next, I'll adjust the highlights. Unfortunately, in contrast to the shadows adjustment, the highlight adjustment produces a pretty mediocre result. Not only does the adjustment drastically reduce the contrast of the sky in an unpleasant way, it also has a tendency to introduce artificial color shifts which don't look that great. Also, aside from these basic adjustments, there's just not as much photos can do. Next, let's edit the same photo with Photometer. I'll brighten the shadows. As you can see, a good result. Next, I'll reduce the highlights. As you can see, compared to photos, a far more competent result, maintaining nice contrast and color while recovering a good amount of detail. Okay, okay, let's, let's pause right here for a second. So, I don't believe it's, I, well, of course, a lot of acquisitions is to get specific talent to use in other places and Right now, Apple has done so much with their talent stuff with, hey, let's do stuff with AI with the photos and let AI do a lot of the photo creative stuff and, and along that line, along those lines. Yes, you they can be getting talent to make this stuff look even better and do all these better editing and stuff like that. I can't agree with that. They have a lot of talent over there. The app works probably better than their stuff. They see some market space in there. But I wonder if this guy is going to cover some of the Adobe um, differences because there's a lot of stuff that Pixelmator does that Adobe also does. And Apple can actually have a way of prying themselves into that competitive market. And you already know there's a lot of people who rock with Apple just because it's Apple. So now when Apple releases something and they all have their MacBooks and they all have their tap iPads and iPhones and all of that stuff and they have these ed new editing apps on these devices They don't have to go out and look for no other editing apps. They don't need to go out and get Adobe They could just use Apple's built-in ones. So I definitely believe this is way beyond photos For itself, but we're gonna continue the video just to see what else could be uh, Talked about because I don't know Pixelmator that much. So we might learn something new Next I'll use the texture slider and adjustment which photos has no equivalent to enhance local contrast. 
Next, I'll use AI Masking, another tool not available in Photos, to perform a local adjustment and bring down the exposure of the sky. As you can see, the result looks great. So with this brief demonstration, you can see how photos lack of features and overall poor editing might spur Apple to pour money on the problem and acquire Pixelmator for the technology. That is a huge difference. I, I do want to put an explanation on it. These two video, these two photos, huge difference in editing right here. Like these clouds up here, way more profound. They stand out way better. The sky looks even better in this edit right here compared to what this looks like over here. It does look 10 times better in that aspect. So he is right in this case. Next question is, will this deal likely create a competitor to Adobe's Lightroom and Photoshop as the aforementioned article suggested? While this would be certainly a great development if it were true, there are a few reasons to be skeptical. The first is Apple's poor track record when it comes to improving its own applications. People may have forgotten that back in the 2000s, Apple did have a Lightroom competitor named Aperture. Just like Lightroom, it was used to manage massive photo libraries, refine photos via adjustment brushes, edit raw files, apply presets, and more. So if you were not aware, you might ask, what happened to Aperture? Well, back in 2015, under CEO Tim Cook, Aperture was discontinued in favor of the consumer-focused Photos app we use today. I'll guess because it wasn't contributing all that much to Apple's bottom line. In any case, I remember this distinctly because back in 2015, just as I had purchased Aperture for $79, US I was told a few days later that the app was being discontinued. Really terrible timing. In addition to the discontinuation of a professionally geared product like Aperture, we also have to remember that even the current consumer-focused photos has been hardly updated in photo editing functionality with the editing tools largely staying the same since it was first launched nine years ago. Therefore, it seems to be wishful thinking that somehow Apple has changed its mind and now wants to make a Lightroom competitor out of Pixelmator Pro or Photometer. So, all in all, while the future is uncertain, and while I do hope that Apple does the right thing and builds up Pixelmator and Photometer to be the Adobe competitors it can be, I do fear that given its track record, the fact that photo editing is not its core business, that Apple will neglect Pixelmator apps just like it has with so many of its own apps. And that would be a big shame indeed. So... That's all for this video, uh, for the most part. Uh, do you guys agree with them? I understand that Apple has been lacking in a lot of this stuff. And mind you, all of these tech companies now are so, so focused on AI and what AI can do and figuring out all of that stuff around AI. Like it's, they, they've been focusing a lot on that. Where do you think this talent, talent would go? Because there's no way you're acquiring this company for no reason at all. There's there's no way. If you're acquiring companies just for the hell of it, I mean, just to what make a little bit more profit, but you spend so much money on it. I, I, there has to be some development use case somewhere along the lines. They want to improve an application or do something better. Maybe they want these editing software people to be used in their AI programs so that it can integrate with their photos app even better and get graphics up there and they can do more background stills and all this other stuff with the talent who knows if what do you guys think that this acquisition is really about do you think they're going to ruin another app and stuff um in a new application or do you think they're going to make something better out of it without further ado don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for hanging out with me today and peace let me know how you guys feel in the comments and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click the videos that's popping up right about now. Thanks. Have a good one. Peace.